Welcome back, folks. It's Paul Maglev here with Mini Clips Rail Rush. That's right, it's Rail Rush, and I can espouse quite a lot about how great this game is, at least for me personally. It does follow the same mechanics as a bunch of other games that you can find on your uh, cell phone, where you just jump from one place to another while you keep going forward or whatever, but that's beside the point. The point is, it's train-themed! And that's just an excuse enough for me to play it. And there's some basic mechanics that you need to follow that kind of innovate on that general concept. Uh, the first one being, you can more than just jump across tracks. You can also lean using the A and D keys on your uh, QWERTY keyboard. Unless you're using the uh, actual application, which is available as described on the left, I think it is, yes. And there's a bunch of stuff, there's missions to accomplish, there's several different level themes in this game. But I just wanted to get right into it because I just couldn't contain myself. And did I mention that every single... Uh, area has its own musical theme and uh, texture. There should be... how many are there? There's... is it five or six? And our basic objective is simple, not die. That and collect as many uh, precious gems and gold nuggets as possible. Another thing to make note of, you can lean and jump at the same time. Something I didn't know at first, which would have helped me in the long run when I first encountered this game. I'll have to use some dynamic compression because the sound effects can be a bit loud, but other than that, it's a pretty good game overall. I'm gonna have to do a bunch of jumps. There's also a bunch of power-ups and stuff you can unlock. I just wish I didn't have to jump across so much. There we go. No, We died! Oh, and we get these geodes, which for some reason they call rock eggs. And we can smash on them with our... Uh, mouse key to see what's inside them, and sometimes you'll get nothing! But sometimes, you'll get even more nothing! That's three times in a row! Why? We also have missions to accomplish, including collecting all those uh, geodes. And basically, each mission we accomplish uh, gives us a certain number of points, and each time we get a point, that goes into our rank, and when we have enough in our rank, we can level up to the next level. Which, I don't know what the perks of that is. But I do them anyway! So, our current missions are to tilt right for 4,500 meters, to ride down the central track for 1,000 meters, and to begin the game 10 times. And we've got one more time to go to get this one. And it's worth three points, is represented by these three metocs, which are single handheld picks. Your conventional pickaxe requires two hands. I didn't know there was a difference between the two, but apparently there's a big deal. We've also got a shop, so we can get a bunch of stuff. We can unlock characters. There's quite a few. This guy breaks uh, upward facing obstacles on the tracks. Daryl Plankbuster. Uh, destroys obstacles that face the left, and Charles Longshot destroys right obstacles that are on the track. Because there's top, bottom, left, and right obstacles that we have to avoid that are based on wood. There's cart stuff we can also get, including things that break up these obstacles. We also have magnets as well to absorb everything that we want to get. And in the extras, there's a bunch of upgrades that are very, very important that I'm saving up for. The most important for me being the Mega Break, which is a permanent additional feature that I'll have 
that'll work in conjunction with another permanent upgrade I've got, the Mega Steam Power, which straps on the little steam engines at the back that for some reason works like a jet engine. I don't know how that works. Maybe he's got a fusion reactor or something, I don't know. Anyway, it's time to play! Yay! We finally got uh, to play the game ten times in a row. And that, apparently, in its of itself was a mission, apparently. Which kind of gives you an idea of what those missions are for, to extend the playtime very substantially. There's always something new to come across, and there's always a new challenge to face. Whether it's uh, beating your own personal record for distance, or uh, accomplishing the missions. And I think that's pretty much all there is to it. We just need to be extra careful, because the biggest obstacle is going too fast. Because as it currently stands, we are going at a steady clip, and as things go along, we actually speed up substantially. I'm not entirely sure why, we seem to be on a level surface, so we should be slowing down. Because friction's a thing in this universe, right? 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 I guess not. Anyway. Game Logic 2016. I don't remember when this game first uh, was released, but I do know that I've been wanting to record this for some time. Like, very, very substantially. It's got great ambience, at least uh, on my first impressions, that's what I felt. The one thing I don't know is the actual names of all these different themes level segments. Because we've got our general adventure theme, we've got a spider's den, we've got the dead city, I think it's called, at least according to one of the achievements. Uh, there's the bonus level, which is full of hot liquid magma, which we just missed. And I think we're going a little too fast. Yes, every single time we hit the two kilometer mark, I always wind up losing. Because we're going too fast. Oh, we finally got something from one of those geodes. 200 nuggets! Ooh, we get to level up, and each time we level up- oh, that's right, each time we level up we get more gold nuggets. 4,200 gold nuggets. Let's see, pass under 10 upper obstacles in a game. I'm pretty sure we could do that. We can ride the central track for a thousand meters, there are only 10 more to go. And we can tilt right for 4,500 meters, we've got 3,186 to go. But are you ready? Oh, there goes our first achievement. But anyway, if you want more details about the controls... Uh... They're described in the game itself. So uh, what else did I want to say? I think that's pretty much it. I still want to show you what the... Uh, what our little rocket booster thing does. Because it basically just makes us temporarily invincible to everything. Whether it's uh, buffers or obstacles. And... what, what else was that? It's only temporary, but because I got the permanent version, uh, I'm able to use it over and over again each time I start a new game. Sadly, I can only do it once. Oh, here's the other thing's place I was trying to mention earlier. For some reason, when the uh, levels or the scenery randomly generates with the uh, obstacles, sometimes 
the scenery kind of clips through the uh, track itself. Kind of ruining the willing suspension of disbelief, but it's just a game and they kind of make that very obvious. But that's one thing that could definitely improve this game. Avoiding the uh, graphical clipping between different entities. Let's see if we can get to one of those bonus levels. Something tells me we aren't going to find one of those anytime soon. No! I... I had a brain fart. But we got a bunch of nuggets, unlike the first time around. We got ourselves another achievement. Let's see, jump over five lower obstacles, pass under ten obstacles. Yeah, that shouldn't be too difficult. Maybe we can get two more achievements and then uh, we can wrap up this video. Activate steam power! Nothing can stop us. Oh, did I also mention we can also jump uh, automatically when that happens? We also have explosives that can destroy obstacles as well, but those are usually a temporary fix. Ah, yes, the stereotypical uh, clicking sound of spiders, because apparently people think spiders make clicking sounds for some reason. Curse you, Hollywood! We've been making our skin crawl for decades because of that. The game di industry doesn't help either. Spider lives matter too! They've got feelings. We need to be tolerant of our spider Americans. And now I feel like I'm pushing being that. I feel like I'm pushing this joke too far. Hey, we got that other achievement. Mission accomplished! This gets crazy really fast. Oh boy. I think we reached the 2 kilometer mark. That's when things get exponentially more difficult. Unless we go into the secret level, then things go really slow for some reason. They'll speed up again, of course, once we return to the regular level courses. Actually, now that I think about it, the levels actually change. Do they change every single... No, they don't change every hundred meters. But we got ourselves some extra nuggets. Got ourselves another mission accomplished. Oh, jump 150 times until it's right for 2083 more uh, meters and pass under 10 obstacles, which for some reason we haven't done yet. But anyway, that, that is Rail Rush, everybody. Thank you all for watching. If you want to play the game, the description, I mean the game link is in the description below. I will see you all next time, and until then, take care, stay awesome, stay true to yourself, and remember to never give up. Bye, everybody.